<laughs> I'm going this way. Hell no. Hell no. Surprise, surprise, people. We are playing another Amiga game called Father's Day. It's a psychological horror game. But it's it's like a prequel to a game called Find Yourself. But this game game came out after Find Yourself. Does that make sense? I guess it does. So in this game, we are uh, the dream of living happily ever after was destroyed after Phil lost his wife and son. Obsessed with the desire to return them, he develops a plan. So God knows what kind of plan that is, but we will find out today. I'll move my camera up here, then we'll play or press a new game. Cheerio folks. It's gonna be another epic Amiga game, you know? Okay, we're walking total darkness towards a door. Can we sprint? Nope. Are we even getting closer? I think we are. <laughs> Sprint, please. Ain't got time for this. It's Father's Day. Alright. What makes people go back to the past? Why can't they let him go? and move on. So Amiga aren't, their first language isn't English. It's Russian, you know? It's parental home, first date, family picnic, going to the city fair with a child. These are warm memories, but only if you're happy now. And if not, then these memories tear your soul apart and do not let go. You want to go back there and be happy again? But you can't. Nope. No can do. How to fix one fatal mistake that changed your world? Phil, you have to. Well, this is very slow paced <laughs> intro. So we are Phil, Dr. Phil, <laughs> Act 1, the past cannot be changed, 3, the future, okay. Come on now. Amiga Games presents. This blood, I don't know, it's very dark in here, you know, hello, are we home alone, we have flashlight, right from the get go, that's great, we have a Bible, It's just a closet, nothing in it. Okay, it's half past five, or 20 minutes to six. Did I close this door? Isn't this, hello? One second guys. I put the volume down, because the music was loud. But we want 
the sounds to be loud in the game, right? So you guys can hear the things that I can hear. Okay. Let's not exit our apartment. I don't think we need to. Or do we? This is typical Amiga games, you know? You have to figure everything out yourself. And interact with things to trigger... To trigger, you know, that you can move forward in the game. Was this door even here before? There's no time to be distracted. You need to continue working on the project. What project? The hell is this? I spent several years developing a time machine. I am almost close to completion. A time machine? Really? Need to pick up the order. What? What are you on about? The order? It's not work. There's not enough detail. Okay, so we have to pick something up that is not in here I suppose that is in here I guess so is this like a futuristic thingy game that's not very typical Emika you know to do does this tell tell us anything? I have to pick up the order for my son. Can I read it? Is that okay? No. My dear son, we will be together soon. So our son's name is Ethan, so I suppose we want to go back in time to save our son. Did he die? Is that it? Is that what happened? Of course, like I said in the beginning, that he developed a plan after he lost his wife and son. Do I hear a phone ringing? I do. Hello? I haven't seen a phone around here. Is that the doorbell? Oh, hello. Someone's at the door. Can we peep through the peephole? No? Got a package. Hello? So is this so this was is what it meant by the order. Sprint please. God damn it. Ain't got time for this. Alrighty then. We're ready to boot up the time machine. Where do we put this thingy? Are we missing a light bulb in here or something? Oh, there we go. Does this thing work now? Alright. 
We are going through a portal. Hopefully to the not to the future. Did it work? Did we go through a portal to another reality? Hello? Oh no. We are locked in here. Can we go back please? They thought it was safer inside. Henry. Are we someone else now? Henry, look around this house. There's a missing child in the park nearby. We need any leads, says the dispatcher. Accept it. So, so, so earlier we was Phil. Now we are Henry, a police officer, I suppose, since we were talking to dispatch. Got a flashlight, awesome. The police, open the door. We are a police, yet. Okay, no one's opening the door. Is anyone in the camper? Nope. Open the door. This is an ordinary abandoned house. No one has lived here for a long time. Okay, take a look around. Said the dispatcher. You'll have a look around then. Anyone in here? No? Can we sprint? We can. Yay! Hate games where you can sprint. Oh. Can we take this jerry can? You never know when you need some gasoline. Sexy mannequins here earlier. Okay, so we are not getting inside the house. Can we go somewhere else then? No? Do we burn it down? <laughs> now that we got gasoline. Anyone in here? Hello? Oh, some lights over here. I have a weird feeling that we already... What the hell is that? That we already played this game? Have we? I don't think so. The last thing I can do is ask for your help. Help me get them back. Doesn't work out. I'm only making it worse. She came to me 
but not the same as before. She's angry. I disturbed their peace. I need to fix everything. Okay. Either I have played this game before, or I just seen the trailer. Hopefully, it's the latter. Hello? Someone in here? Taking a shit? Why the hell is it barricaded? Hmm? Now this door is open. That seems like an invitation for us to come in. Hello? Someone sitting, sitting upstairs. Can we turn this off? No. Need to find a ladder to get up there. What's this? Matches? Pizza boxes. Someone really likes pizza in here. So I guess we'll find. Did we see a ladder outside? Did you guys see a ladder? I didn't. I suppose there is one around here somewhere. There's something really familiar about this game. But I'm pretty sure I haven't played it before. If I have, then it wasn't a very memorable game. Then I shouldn't be playing it now. I don't see a ladder. Anywhere. Can I take this one? I can. But that's what we use the gasoline for. And the uh, matches. <laughs> this thingy wasn't here before. Let's find out who's up here. Fucking creepy place. Well, no shit. <laughs> what? Hello? The house is clean. There's no evidence. Let's get the hell out of here. Henry, get back to base. Don't mind if I do. It's been a long shift. It's time for me to rest. Okay, now we can read this. The culprit in the accident on Highway 58 testified. I definitely saw that the girl ran out onto the road to pick up her toy. I wanted to get away from the collision. The culprit was intoxicated and does not remember what happened after the accident. Recall that as a result of the accident, a car caught fire. A woman and a child could not get out of the car. So I guess the woman and the child was Phil's 
wife and kid, right? Why do you guys keep turning up? You weren't here before. Get back to base. Hello? Don't scare the shit out of me, please. Let's find our cop car and get... Why can't we get... go this way now? We'll go around the house then? We are not getting away from here. How do I go back to base? Then I can't... Get to my cop car. It's only one way to go then. Hello! <laughs> I'm going this way. Hell no. Hell no. You're supposed to be a dead mannequin. Hello? Go this way. Can't go anywhere then, right? Hmm. So, like all Amiga games, the scenery is ever changing. So, maybe we can go this way now. Maybe not. Can we open this door now? Maybe, maybe go through the house? No. We cannot. There's my cop car, but how do I get back there? I don't know. What? Did I see that? Who the F are you, man? Now he's gone, you know? And now he's... The hell? Nothing else up here, right? Is that a Ouija board? Oh, hell no. Don't do Ouija board, kids. You just invite demons to your house. Huh? And into your life. How the hell am I supposed to get away from here? Mannequin was dragged in here somewhere. I think I found something. Police Sergeant Henry Anderson. He was sent to inspect the surroundings of the park. But during the operation, he stops contacting. So he's missing in action. Okay. 
Her nightmare is reality. Uh, hopefully not. That sounds terrible. The kinds of nightmares that I have after playing these games. And now we're back here. Now we are Phil. It's 9.27. I already feel this is gonna be a confusing game because we are jumping back and forth because we are time traveling and stuff like that. Go back to our time machine. I cannot. We have no flashlight. Awesome. I guess we have to find stuff in darkness. I don't see shit, man. Oh, the flashlight's here. Again. Hello? Now it's 3.27. The hell? That took a long time. To walk around the corner and back. Emma hasn't sorted her mail yet. Need to replace something. Who's breathing like that? Are you having sex? Locked. Need a key. Your brother, Jonathan. Can we read it? Emma, I am so sorry. I want to help you find JJ. But I can also assure you that the boy was just playing with friends. I didn't warn you. He'll be back soon. Your neighbor, Phil. We are Phil. So we left that note. Are these women of the night in here? Heavily panting? Like they are having sex? Where the hell did my bathroom go? And now it's 23.37. Hello? Hello? Whose shadow is this? Hello? Well, my closet got bigger. What are these drawings? I don't know. Hello? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no, hell no. Don't blow our candles right in front of me. When I positively see no one here. I think we might have played a demo of this game. Hmm? I need to find the missing part. So I need to find a small bear, I guess. We hear a TV, or at least the white noise. Hmm? 
Here's the TV with the white noise. Hello? Is there someone at the door again? Heard the doorbell. Hello? Hello? What kind of sorcery is this? This is some satanic witch. Shit. We haven't found the key for that thingy yet. Hello? Open. Two times. One. And two. Is this like Narnia or something? there be a key here somewhere to that box that I haven't seen hello also we haven't found that bear thingy what the hell is going on here man need to light the candles to open the door what candles I have some candles here, but I can't light them. Is there any candles here? They're all already lit. I don't know. The hell? All the candles are lit around here, right? Okay, we have a lighter. It's time to light the candles. Yes, it's the only candles in here. This one. And this open. Okay. We got a key. Yay. Will that be for that box outside our neighbor's house? Apartment, I suppose. Don't effing do Ouija boards, guys. The item is missing. I want to come back to you. My thoughts won't let them go. Hello? the hell is this girl? Creepy much? 
Look at her shadow though. That's Satan. Hello! <laughs> that didn't scare me. At all. Let's see what's inside this box. Oh, that's the bear. Okay, another another delivery. Hello? again that thing for our time machine okay what the hell happened here man voices in my head they are watching me Horror. This is the end. It's here. Hello? It's already here. Who is already here? What are you looking at? this place man let's place the bear and here's that thingy for the Ouija board Weird ass shit, man. I'll be right back, guys. We're going to make it suspenseful. Anything creepy happen? No, nope, because I paused the game. <laughs> so this is the door to hell. Need a password. I haven't seen any password. Let's see if we can... Find a password somewhere. 
around this place. Are there any of these weird ass drawings? No? This is the end. Hello! Ah, maybe we get the password from this. One. Four. Zero. Eight. One, four. Zero, eight. Uh, you're... That doll's not creepy at all. Is it? I believe it is. One four zero eight. Let's hurry while we remember. One four zero eight. Oh, god damn it. One four zero eight. Enter. There we go. Okay. We're at our time machine. And we did get that light bulb thingy. Right? Didn't we get that light bulb thingy? Pretty sure we did. In that package. But I can't put it in. Why not? It's now lever. Lever. Lever, lever. Whatever, man. And the key for this thing here. hell happened to this room dude I need a key for this and we need a lever lever okay There's nothing in here Some weird as shit going on here, man. You got a key or a lever for me? Creep it all? No? I remember that day in the park. You wanted to go to the rides, but we agreed to do it after the picnic. I don't like that doll at all. Huh. I'm a poet. Okay, I see nothing of interest here. Is that a demon bride or something? We have a key. That must be for that box down here, right? Let's find out today. Yep. There's the lever, lever, the lever lever. It's 
walk through the portal. Hopefully, everything will turn back to normal. Hello? Hey! Creator, I want to hear the truth. God? Is God the creator? I don't know. The golden egg. The golden egg is a virtual world created from the memories and actions of a certain person. And we also analyze what he is afraid of in order to use it in the future. The next stage is putting a person's mind into a virtual world. So he thinks that everything he sees around him is real. Then we connect to the consciousness of a person and try to find out what secrets he keeps. In our egg, we have created a space for a maniac so that he will not be able to distinguish reality from the virtual world and will think that this is his life. While he is distracted, our task is to dig into his memories of this case. To do this, we will connect a person who will explore his world and record evidence for us. Together with the district police, we are launching the system. Okay. Operator, communication with Henry has been interrupted. He no longer gets in touch. Henry got beyond the golden egg. Only a maniac knows where he is now. We need a person who has already been to this place in reality. He himself will not get out of his world. I have no clue what's going on here, guys. We are calling Jonathan. Wait. Well, I am waiting. What the hell's going on? Be careful, evil knows where to look for you. Oh no. So now we are Jonathan. Jonathan, show me how it was. But don't go beyond the boundaries of the world. It's dangerous. I was in this place 20 years ago. It's like it was yesterday. I have no, no effing clue what's going on here. <laughs> We've got a camera. With night vision. Nice. I, I really don't follow the story. Who the F is Jonathan? So he's one that put this egg into... I don't know. Did I do that to fill as well? Here, I can get it with a hook. Okay, do we have a hook? No? Let's find a hook. Hello? Someone crying in here? Need a crowbar. Okay. Let's find a crowbar then. So we are back at this house where Phil. No. Henry. Got lost, you know? Did he get lost? What happened to Henry? Seems to be locked from the inside. Hello? Who's running? Holy crap. We are not alone. Here's someone rustling. Out here in the forest. I don't know where to look. We're not getting out of here. Ok. 
Can we get in here? Nope. Need a crowbar to open the window. Okay. Need a crowbar for a lot of things. See if we can find it around here somewhere. Hello? Circus performance this Sunday. Happy Father's Day. Thank you. I'm waiting for you. Okay. If this is a Father's Day prank, it's an effing cruel one, you know? And he just lost his wife and child, and now they do this Father's Day thingy. Hello? What the hell are you? Where would one find a crowbar in this place? Could be anywhere, right? Oh, there's the circus, I guess. Don't shush me. I'm so distracted by the things in the woods that I can't concentrate on looking for that crowbar around here. Hello? Crowbar? Are you here? I wish crowbar, crowbars could answer. <laughs> Can we get a hook here for that thingy? Post not. Need a hook for this to get that thing, right? You would think that we could get it from this fishing rod, right? can do god damn it hmm. oh we have an arrow pointing this way I didn't see that earlier Hopefully it's this doll here making that sound. Special force. So this Henry must have dropped this, right? Got a crowbar. Don't cry. Hello? should be able to see what's in the shit house. Hello? Hmm. 
Now we are unlocked the shit house. We can now take a shit. Need to look for gloves. There's something there. Okay. I would look for gloves as well before putting my hands in there. That's for goddamn sure, man. So there was a window as well, yeah? Where we could use the crowbar. On the other side of the house. Hello? Are you having an epileptic seizure or something? All the crap? Can we open this window with the crowbar now? We can. Let's get inside. Is anyone here? Says Jonathan. We hear a choo choo train. This is the letter I sent to Emma. That son of a bitch stole it. I knew he was guilty. So, your brother Jonathan, we are Jonathan, right? And we sent this letter. Who stole it? Who stole it? Emma, your neighbor doesn't bother you anymore. I know you're kind to him and your son likes him, but he seems strange to me. His name is Phil and he lives alone. I got something on him. He had a family. They got into a car accident. His wife and child died. After that, he moved into an apartment in your house. I don't think you should talk to him. Your brother, Jonathan. Okay. So why are... Okay, so Emma is Phil's neighbor, yeah? But why does this Jonathan think he's strange? Because he lives alone and he lost his family? Why, why is that strange? I don't know. I don't need any presents. Please let us go home. We are very scared. There are more kids here. JJ should be among them. Who's JJ? This lighter fluid? I think it is. Who the hell's JJ? Huh? He was here. He was hidden. Okay, we have a lighter. We have fluid. We, the unwilling, trained by the unskilled, to do the impossible for the ungrateful. We need to find how to open the safe. So someone was staying here, yeah? Did you like a duct? Oh, did someone a duct? Someone? <laughs> JJ, maybe? So, very intertwining stories going on here. It kind of looks like you, Jane. Right? By the way. This is Jane, and this is Mary, the witch. Kinda looks like you, Jane. No? You know, Mary, Jane. <laughs> if you know, you know. 
what I mean. Okay, there's, now there's no arrow and we can't go this way now. I oh, still haven't found that hook or gloves. What is this thing anyways? Oh, it's a grinder, okay. Angle grinder. Still haven't found anything where I need to use an anchor grinder okay we need to find gloves and a hook where does one find gloves and hooks in this messy house here Hopefully we'll find out soon enough. Choo -choo. We have to grab something off this choo-choo train or something? No? Nope. How do we open this? Hmm. So a lot of things we have to figure out here. Right? Oh. Okay. Here, need an access card. Well, we know that need a lot of stuff now. Oh, we have the gloves! Let's go check out the shit house. Hello? That didn't sound threatening at all. Took out the access card. Okay, find the access card. Hello? I ran too fast. I didn't see anything. I just heard that noise. Did you guys see it? Was there even anything to see? Guess that opened the box up here. It did. I didn't find this diary in reality. I need to dive into it and find out what happened to him as a child. Why is he hiding these memories? I don't know. Him. Hello? I came home after school. My mom was in a bad mood. God damn it. I thought I had time to read it. I did not. Jonathan Okay, so we are still Jonathan Home sweet home the best memories That was an achievement I got So this is like where the game started, you know From the very beginning. Hello Who the hell are you? Are you pointing me in there? You look grim as shit, man.
That looks like a doll from Alessia's dollhouse. Phil, Jonathan, you've gone too far. Do you want to know the truth? I'll tell you here. I'll tell you her. So now Phil is talking to Jonathan. What? what? So if you haven't checked out the game called Alessia's Dollhouse on my channel. Oh, go check it out. It's like creepy ass games. With these kinds of dolls running around. Scaring the shit out of people. I've been here before. Not in this game, but in the previous games. What's this supposed to mean? I don't know. Press C, e, turn on the camera. So I need to take uh, a similar photo to, than that one that we saw. But I forgot how it was. Can we see it again? Was it a photo of this? No? Who's singing children's songs? Hello? Who was there? Hello? What the hell of a creepy thing are you? A jigsaw puzzle. Phil, my son. Me and dad wanted to help you so much. We moved into a new house in the hope that everything would change. But the evil possessed you and we didn't know how to deal with it. Terrible things began to happen. Killing birds and animals. It wasn't your fault. You were held hostage by a monster. I wanted to get rid of him. Okay. So something went very wrong in Phil's childhood. Okay, that's a graveyard. I'll try to repeat these photos, yeah. But can we see those photos again? Pressing tab, or pressing I. How can we see them again? I didn't see the, that first one. Was that a picture of this? No? What was that first photo that we found on there? Hello? Bill? Is that you? This kid is not Phil. Then who is it? What the hell am I supposed to know? Hello? What or who the hell are you? No one. I think this is the doll from Alessia's dollhouse, isn't it? No, it ain't. It just reminds me a lot about it. No matter how hard you try, they can't admit that you're an unusual child. I want them to understand that. 
why are you hindering me? How much longer are you going to put up with being locked in the basement? We need freedom. I have a plan to get rid of them. Let me do it. I hope you guys follow the story better than I do. I think there's so much going on in this story, right? Tonight, two patients escape from a psychiatric hospital. A man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple. Enter into trust and can harm others. Be careful not to come into con contact with them. If you suspect anything, call the local police. Okay. I see we can load the game. Which means that this is going to be a long game. I thought it said it was going to be about two and a half hours. And we already played for one hour. So I think we'll split this game into two videos. So if you enjoyed this video and if you are looking forward for the continuation of the game. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss part number two. Thank you all for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.